What's going on guys, Nathaniel here. I am talking about some really bad news I received last week when it came to one of my stocks being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange, which means my $5,000 investment is now worth just over 400 bucks. So we're talking about LSC Communications listed as LKSD on the New York Stock Exchange failed to maintain at least a $1 trading average over the last 30 day period, which means that it did not comply with New York Stock Exchange standards for listing. And they now have six months to get back on track or else face um, being unlisted for the considerable future. Now, when I bought this stock back in May of this year, I paid just over $5 a share and I bought a thousand shares worth. So it was like 5,050 bucks, I think. Well, now it is sitting since it's been delisted. It's sitting at like 44 cents a share, which means my thousand shares are worth 440 bucks, which is completely depressing. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, with that said, that is one of the risks that you take when you invest. And unfortunately, I learned the hard way. I saw the dip in that stock and I thought, well, this might be a good opportunity to get a deal. And I unfortunately did not expect it to drop completely out. It had already seen quite a bit of loss or drop in share price over the year. And I thought I was getting in at a good time and I held on for too long and ended up uh, paying quite a penalty for doing that. We'll see. I still have those thousand shares and it's possible that, you know, business may turn around or they may find a way to get back on the stock exchange. They're still tradable because those shares don't just disappear. They're just not publicly or publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. So I guess what I'm trying to say is stocks can be very unpredictable. And if you recall one of my other videos talking about index funds, link up here, there is a safer way to invest your money. Now I have a lot of money in index funds through my TSP. So I'm using the C fund and the S fund through the TSP. So that's tracking the S&P 500 and the total stock market indexes. And on my Roth IRA side, I am looking at, um, you know, stocks in particular where I, I kind of have a little bit more freedom to play around with that, find the deals, find dividend stocks that um, I see value in. And unfortunately, like I said, LSC Communications uh, couldn't maintain its listing and it's posted revenue losses for the third quarter, which did not help its case either. So the outlook is pretty bleak in the near term. From what I've been reading, uh, the whole paper consumer industry is not doing great. And so there may be a turnaround in the long term, but... Um, we'll just have to see anyways. So depressing news. And that's just one other case for using an index fund, honestly. So if you find yourself in that situation, you don't know where to put your money, or if you're not willing to take the risk, invest it in an index fund, make sure that you're doing smart decisions with that. And, um, if you've ever had a situation like this, uh, it kind of sucks, but you know, that's part of investing. And you know what? I learned something from that. You know, just because something is uh, a steal, like a bargain for that stock, it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to go back up. Learn from me, maybe. Don't. You know, it's up to you. Anyways, I will be back with another video later this week talking about some other dividend stocks that I have that are actually doing pretty well. And I'd like to share that because that is money that's coming back into my pocket every month. Or in my case, I'm reinvesting that income into those stocks in particular. So my money is continuing to grow with each share that I purchase with that company. So more to come on that. Uh, I hope you have a great evening and I will catch you in the next video. Be sure to smash this like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Catch you in the next one.